talks about the environment, think about the first thing that comes to your mind. Most of you probably thought about climate change or maybe global warming, but I'm going to focus on climate change. So like we always hear about climate change, like how we need to save the environment, blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about all that later. So I know a little bit about climate change, because when I was in you know, fourth grade, uh, my school does ecosystem projects. Basically, they assign you an ecosystem, you study it, write a paper on it, and make a little diorama of it. And I ended up getting the tundra, and so, and the tundra is usually cold. And so, fourth grade me, because we always hear about like, the polar ice caps melting, so polar ice caps are cold. The tundra is cold. So fourth grade me was worried about the tundra, so I did a little research into it. It doesn't really change that much kind of in climate change, but some things have kind of changed over time. Typically, climate change is a problem that we are currently facing. And so today, I'm going to basically talk about what climate change is, what it is doing to the environment, and what we can do to fix it. So basically, obviously climate change is a change in climate patterns. That's pretty simple. And so like the Australian Academy of Science does a better job at explaining this in their article, uh, What is Climate Change on science.org? And they don't have a date. Uh, when they say, climate change is a change in the pattern of weather and related changes in oceans, land surfaces, and ice sheets occurring over time scales of decades or longer. And then they also say that climate change can be caused by man-made actions or even like natural processes like the sun's radiation or kind of volcanoes. And so then, we, you probably hear a lot about greenhouse gases as well. And so the Australian Academy of Science tells us that greenhouse gases are gases that radiate in like all directions and prevent infrared energy kind of from Earth to space. And then uh, the BBC states in their article, what is climate change? A really simple guide on their official website, and they didn't have a date either. Uh, the greenhouse gas with the greatest impact uh, is water vapor. But then they make sure to tell us that carbon dioxide actually persists in the atmosphere much longer than water vapor does. And that most of the CO2 in the atmosphere is actually from the burning of fossil fuels. So like, what is all of this actually doing to the environment? And so scientists have predicted like the effects of climate change in the past, because NASA wrote in their article, the effects of climate change on their official website. And it's all of these big corporations that still put dates for some reason. <laughs> so, Effects that scientists have predicted in the past would result from global climate change are now occurring. The loss of sea ice, accelerated sea level rise, and large, longer, more intense heat waves. And then, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration put in their article, climate change impacts on their official website, once again, out of date. Uh, changes like increased temperatures, water stress, diseases, and weather extremes create challenges for farmers to be able to put food on our table. This is like, all of this has happened in the past, and it's all kind of carrying up to now, and so they're even predicting what is going to happen in the future. And so NASA said scientists have confidence that global temperatures will continue to rise for decades to come, and that the intensity, frequency, and duration of hurricanes have increased over time, and they're only expected to become stronger as time goes on, because I've seen like so many hurricanes in the news recently. It's basically, so this is our kind of future we're looking at here. So we need to do something to fix this so this doesn't happen. But how? What can we do? So there's some solutions we're already working towards. So like Dave Biela wrote his article, 10 Solutions for Climate Change on Scientific America, uh, dated November 26, 2007. The first challenge is eliminating the burning of coal, oil, and eventually natural gas. So yeah, 2007 may sound outdated, but these are still things that we need to be working towards and like helping the environment. Like look at Elon Musk, for example, he's making his electric cars to kind of stop with all the kind of gas emissions getting into the atmosphere. And then Biela also said that, that tons of trees are being cut down year after year, and that leads to tons of carbon in the atmosphere. So yeah, those sound a little difficult, like we can't just all be going out making electric cars or protecting the trees, but there are things that we can do. So Biela said that a potentially simpler and even bigger impact can be made by doing more with less. You can turn off the lights when you leave a room, shut off the water when you're brushing your teeth. And then, Bielo also said that electronic applications still consume energy when they are switched off. Try unplugging them instead. So like if you have like an outlet plugged in, it's still pulling energy that it doesn't need to be, even though it doesn't need it. And so those last few points I said, those are way simpler. All of us can do this. Every little bit counts towards helping the environment. So 
I told everybody here what climate change is and what it is doing to the Earth. I also told everyone what you can do to help the Earth. This is our Earth, and we need to fix it if we want to keep living on it. 